you really want to believe that the world is a meritocracy. If you were to take other pursuits in the world, you'd never say like we should let race, gender, age affect people's performance in the 100-yard dash or their compensation at a company, right? All of that should be based on achievement. And so there is a question on what achievements should be taken into account when you apply to a school. And it's pretty obvious, the legacy thing, you know, a backdoor into these schools. But we want to feel like we're also making progress because, listen, the world has been unfair. The world was built on slavery and our country has, you know, is only 150 years past that. And Civil Rights Act was what, 1964 or 65? Like, we really want to see everybody achieve here. So I think you have to pause for a second and say, well, if the goal is you want to see, you know, Black Americans perform better, and I think that's the underlying concern here, and it is based on the legacy of America, well, how do you do that? And I think we're looking way too far down in the educational pipeline. The solution here is really childcare. The solution here is nursery schools, pre-K elementary school education. And those things need competition. And that's where people fall behind. To be looking at this at the end of the academic journey is, I think, crazy. So, you know, when I'm president, I'm going to have 365 day a year, you know, uh, childcare and pre-K. And and that's where we should, if we really want to try to make up for some wrongs uh, in the history of this country and try to have better outcomes, we need competition in schools, which means probably breaking some of these unions and giving people vouchers and choice. And then we have to invest more in the earliest stages of education. 